So let's get started. So last week we talked about selling your home when you have pets. And I did mention about potentially finding a temporary home for these pets, uh, at least for a couple of weeks. Now, obviously not quite as easy or feasible when you have kids. So don't worry, I'm not necessarily telling you to shift your kids off, but I do have some great tips for how to keep their things nice and neat and organized. Because you know what, I get it. You've got to live in the house while your house is for sale. The home selling process can be very disruptive and often stressful on kids. So we want to be really mindful of that, of course. So the first thing is see if you can have your kids play a part in the packing up process, uh, get them involved in it and get them excited about their new place. They're packing up their boxes so that they can move those items into their new home. Obviously, if you can get them to purge any items, that's often ideal as well. Sometimes you can get them excited about giving away their toys for a good cause. So if there's anything going on um, in your community uh, in terms of a toy drive or even just being able to donate them to Goodwill or selling them in the neighborhood, giving them to another kid in the neighborhood, um, that can get them a little bit more excited about the process as well. Uh, so with what toys they have remaining once that process is done, try to limit their toys whenever possible to their bedroom as a designated area for the toys. And if you have a play area, you can have the toys obviously in the play area as well. Uh, but make sure you're removing all the additional toys from living room, dining room, kitchen, your bedroom, potentially any other adult entertaining type areas that should show as a more mature room should be void of toys whenever possible. Uh, one great tip for your living room, especially if you want to keep some toys in there for the kids is grab a basket and fill it with toys. Get a nice, like, good size, like one of those almost laundry style baskets, fill it with toys. And then on the top of it, place a blanket. And that way it looks like it's intended to be a basket full of blankets. No one else needs to know that it's full of toys. And potential buyers coming through the house are not going to go rummaging through your blanket basket. Uh, kids play areas are a great selling feature in the right neighborhood. So if you do have a space available for them, and what I mean by this is make sure that space is not taken away from your dining room or your family room or another adult allocated space. But if you do have space for a playroom, by all means, set up a playroom, but make sure the toys are still contained. So make sure they're nice and neat and organized and add baskets whenever possible. Uh, in the kids' bedrooms, kids will be kids, I get it. Uh, make sure you're checking their room on a daily basis, make sure the beds are made and the toys are put away. Uh, ideally, limit the number of toys in their bedroom to two toy bins. Uh, unless you have additional storage for these things. So, um, for example, if you have a storage bench in their room, you can potentially fill that full of toys in addition to the dresser drawers, as well as, you know, a bin or two. But if you can try to limit the number of toys, and they can always rotate these out as well. You can pack up the rest of the toys, store them in an area in the basement, perhaps that's not being used, and you can rotate the toys out as you need to. Uh, make sure any accessories in their bedroom are toned down and neutralized, but we do want to show kids' bedrooms generally as a kid's bedroom, especially if it's in a family-oriented neighborhood where most likely the potential buyer for that house is going to have kids of their own as well. So feel free to put a few toys on display, but we just don't want it to look overly cluttered. Um, you know, not make sure they're, they're fairly neutral, not too many items. Um, if the walls are painted a really bright color, you will want to tone those down, but softer colors are usually okay with. They'll photograph a little bit better anyway. Um, and, and then have a little bit of fun with it, you know. Um, you know, I, I know that parents have often joked when um, they've been putting their house in for sale, they're going to ship the kids off uh, for the time that the house is on the market, ship them off to grandma's house or whatever the case may be. Um, and they do joke about it. But I will say that I, I have had, in my experience, some of my clients have found that um, if they have a family member that is able to take in the kids or even the entire family for that matter, for the first couple of weeks that the house is on the market especially, it does help to minimize the stress levels. It's a lot easier to keep the house clean.